Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to um, make a cool profile pic for yourself and also how to make um, basic Sony, or not Sony, um, how to make basic Adobe After Effect photos, or intros. And um, I'm also going to show you some more detailed information on how to reduce Camtasia lag. Um, so yeah, let's start off with Photoshop profile picture icons. I'll also do a little bit on uh, making YouTube backgrounds. Um, so for this part, what we were going to do is we're going to create a new one. And um, I'm going to make it so that it is uh, 2 by 2 in inches. Make sure inches is checked. Er, selected and then press OK. Now um, I'm going to hold ALT down and use the scroll wheel to zoom in. Um, so now the first thing we want to do is unlock our layer by holding this down and deleting it. And now I'm going to press Control A to select everything, select all, and delete the white area because we don't need that. Press Control D to deselect and now I'm going to uh, select the line tool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna set the color to white. Press OK. All right. So with the line tool, I'm gonna have its weight set to 50 pixels. And um, first thing, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be defining a pattern. So what you want to do is you want to get the crosshair right here and line it up with the exact corner of the. Uh, of the square. So you know it's exactly aligned when both the uh, right crosshair and the bottom crosshair have uh, turned uh, like gray with the black line that is the border of the square. So you click and then you do the same thing to the crosshair on the bottom left corner. So right now it should end up looking like that. And now we're going to click this button, which uh, makes it so that it adds to the shape area, and that way it doesn't make a whole bunch of layers. So I'm going to do the same thing where I line up the crosshair with the corner, and then, now this is a little bit different. What you're going to do is you're going to want to make sure that each side is completely straight. Alright, so that, and so you want to make sure that each cor the corners of the rectangle made by the line are touching right on with the side of the square on each sides and you can tell it's doing that uh, if the lines of the rectangle on all sides are not broken so and then you do the same thing on this side so let me get that and then you uh, here we go. There we go. Alright, so now you right click and you rasterize your layer, and then you go to Edit, Define Pattern, and name it Stripes. Alright, and I've already got a pattern like this, so I'm just going to delete this layer. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to utilize that by um, first selecting our color. So I'm going to go with some light blue and um, I'm going to make a gradient. Um, so I'm going to choose the gradient tool and it's going to go, I'm going to make sure that it's going from light to dark like that. You can change that by using these things to drag after clicking here. Um, and so I'm going to go to the center of the icon, which is right here, and outward to the corner. So it looks like this, which looks very nice. And uh, so now I'm going to make a new text layer, and I'm going to just put two S's. And right now I'm holding Control to uh, resize it. And I'm going to bring it up just a little bit. 
Alright. So, that looks decent right now, but we're going to jazz it up a bit. So, to use our stripes that we just made, we double click right here, and we click Pattern Overlay, and we select it. Change the pattern to the stripes that you made, and clearly it's a little bit big unless you want it that way, so I'm actually going to bring it down with the scale about 50. Um, and then I'm going to take the opacity down, and it depends on what the color of the gradient or the background is, but generally the brighter the color, the higher the opacity you're going to want to have. So I'm going to put it at 40, 47. Um, for this one, but for darker colors, it's going to be in the lower 20s. Alright, so that looks good on the background, but for the text, it needs to be jazzed up a bit and maybe some different colors. So I'm going to click here and choose a gradient overlay and select it. And I'm going to click on this gradient area and I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to delete this other orange and I'm just going to drag this to right here. And I'm going to reverse it so that it's kind of like this. Maybe bring the orange a little bit closer. Right about there. Yeah. That looks good. So, just like that. And I'm going to add a drop shadow to it to make it look better. And I'm going to take the distance to 0. Uh, I'm going to bring the size to 5. I'm just going to leave the f size at 5. I'm going to bring the spread to 100. And there we go. That looks pretty good. And now um, I'm going to go back to this layer. And I guess I'm going to put an inner shadow on it. And I'm going to take the distance down to 0 again. Bring the choke up. Uh, maybe around there. And bring it into right about here. So, like so. So now we've got a cool looking icon. And um, the font I used is most wasted. You can download it from defont.com. And um, so yeah, so uh, my After Effects take a while. So I'm going to pause it while we wait for it to open. Alright, it's open, so, um, first of all, uh, to give you guys the basic sense of After Effects, this is the timeline, you, uh, do all your stuff in here, this is the preview area, and this is the project media. Um, this is where you put all your clips and images and all those good whatnots. So, um, first of all, uh, you always want to start by going composition, new composition. Um, my settings that I have it set at are 1280 by 720, and I lock the aspect ratio, and I make the duration at 15, and the frames per second at 29.97. Alright, so, here we go, and I'm going to set it to 100, okay, and then we can, first let's start off with our background for the uh, the thing. So I've already made a template to use. Um, actually, no. How about we Photoshop one right now so you guys can get a idea on what to do for yours. So again, let's just use the stripes. But um, we're gonna do edit or er, new, and we're gonna go 1280 by 720 which is what the composition is that we made. Oh, make sure it's not in inches. One in is pixels. 1, 2, 8, 0, 5, 7, 20. And press OK. And then unlock your layer by dragging that. Press Control A and delete the white. Um, so now I'm going to... Let's just go with a nice blue to... Uh, blue to dark blue, so we'll put it to uh, there. And then let's just put a nice gradient so that it is like so, and uh, get in what would look like to be the center of the 